Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kieran, I'm a junior doctor and a comedian working in Manchester. As always, if you are new, make sure you're subscribed so you can join the team. Technology has evolved over the last five years, and now more than ever, medical students and doctors are relying on our phones to make sure we're up to date with everything that's going on and to facilitate and make our jobs easier. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the essential must-have apps for any medical student and doctor. Let's get into it. The first app we're gonna talk about is MD Calc. MDCalc is a free app that you have to sign up for and it gives you all the scoring systems that we use. Because at the moment we use a lot of scoring systems in medicine to stratify things. So for example, if someone has AF and you need to work out if they need to be anticoagulated or not, we use a scoring system called Chadsvask. If someone has symptoms of a blood clot and we need to know if they need a scan or a blood test, will do a well score. This app makes making those calculations an absolute breeze. This is the way it works. If you open up the app, then you can search for anything that you might want to score. So for example, if you wanted to score for Chad's Vask, you could type in Chad's Vask score. Then you can really easily type in all of the bits that are important. So for example, age over 75, female, let's say yes, no, whatever. And you also get your results. So not only does it calculate the score for you, it also tells you how you can interpret that score. For example, for the random stuff that I've put in, it says that the stroke risk was 7.2% per year. And so that's really useful because you can explain that to patients in very easy terms. You can put in their information, you can say your risk of having a stroke is this much, therefore we need to do this. The other thing that makes this app really cool is that you don't need to know the name of the scoring system. So you could put the name of a condition and it will then work out what you need to do. So if for example you put pulmonary embolism, you get all of the different scoring systems that you might need for people with PEs. Really useful app, we're using scoring systems all of the time. Often when you refer people for scans or for surgeries, they'll need a score of some point, so it's useful you can calculate that and communicate it effectively to patients. The next app on the list is one called Pocket Doctor. I think Pocket Doctor is debatably the best app for medical students and on-call doctors that there can be. It's filled with plans for unwell patients, how you respond to news calls, it's filled with prescribing guidance, it's got loads of things that a new doctor or medical student could use and, and that would be really helpful. Let me show you how it works. So you open the Pocket Doctor app, the first thing we have is news calls. So if you're on call in the hospital, you're covering lots of wards, a patient is scoring and you can click this app and you can work out what to do and you can use your knowledge and also information from the app to work out the best plan of action. Let's say for example, the patient has a high respiratory rate. You click high respiratory rate and then on the app, it gives you things you can do to try and treat that patient. The other cool thing about this app is that you can tick off when you've done these things like a plan. So they're ready-made plans that you can help formulate a management plan with. Another cool feature of the app is plans for unwell patients. So for example, if you have a patient that has an upper GI bleed, you can press upper GI bleed and it will give you a management plan for that. So A, B, C, D, E, two large cannulas, bloods including clotting, cross match, fluids, omeprazole, terlipressin, Glasgow Blatchford score, which you can use MD calc to calculate. It's quite a comprehensive app of things that you should do when you're on call. As you get more experience, you will know these things, but it's useful if you are out of practice for a little bit, or if you're a new doctor or a medical student that's learning to be able to have these plans at hand. The other thing that Pocket Doctor does is it has lots of prescribing guidance as well. So let's say we went onto the prescribing information and we were prescribing end of life medications for a patient. We just click end of life and it tells us really simply the kind of doses that we need to give these people. So we've got morphine, fentanyl, midazolam, haloperidol, cyclozine, the dose, the max dose, the indication, really comprehensive and useful for people new to prescribing or people that wanna double check their work. The next app, which is fantastic for any shift worker, is called My Shift Planner. If you've ever worked shift, you'll know how much of a nightmare it is 
to have to put your shifts into your Apple Calendar or your Google Calendar. You have to put individual shifts on and it doesn't match up and it's difficult to look at. My shift planner makes things much easier. The way it works is you set your shifts. So for example, a short day is nine to five, a long day is nine till half past nine, a twilight is four till two, and then you simply tap on each day and select what shift you'll be doing that day. And it's as simple as that. Let me give you an example and show you what my shifts look like. So these are my shifts for this year. As you can see, it's all color coded. We can see flex, meaning I'm flexible, zero, meaning I've got a zero day, LD, which means I'm long days on the wards. It's really simple to look at and easy to make plans with. So if someone ever says to me, are you free this weekend? I'm not having to look through rotors. I look at this app and straight away, I can see if I'm free or not. And then I can decide whether to say yes or whether to lie to them and say that I'm working that weekend. The other cool thing about this app is that you can rotate shifts. So in the hospital, often you're on a rotor that's eight weeks or 12 weeks or something like that. You put in the first eight weeks, you press rotate, and what it will do is it will duplicate those shifts so you don't have to put them in a second time. The next app is the BNF. I'm not gonna to talk too much about this because most people know what the BNF is. It's basically the Bible of drugs. Every drug that you should be prescribing will be in the BNF. It has the indication for the drug, it has the doses for the drug, it has the contraindications for the drug. Everything you could possibly need will be in this app. They used to come in these massive books, but times have changed and now you've got them in your pocket. Let me show you what the BNF looks like. I've opened the BNF app up. As it opens, I can search for a medication. Let's say I'm prescribing furosemide for a patient. It gives me different types of furosemide. It tells me furosemide is in coamilifrus. I'm gonna click on furosemide. It tells me it's a loop diuretic. I'm gonna press indications and dose. It gives me the dose in edema. It gives me the oral and the IV doses resistant edema, it talks about hypertension. Then we can go on to contraindications. So these are the patients for which uh, it will be contraindicated that they cannot have this medication. It tells me the cautions, it tells me the side effects. The other thing that it's very useful for is seeing if a medication is okay in renal impairment and also in pregnancy. So if you're ever not sure if can this pregnant patient have this medication, open the BNF, click on pregnancy, and it will say whether that patient can or cannot have that medication. The next app we're looking at is not a well-known one, but it's called OrthoFlow. OrthoFlow is an app that I found recently since I've started orthopedics that has been incredibly helpful. It has been a lifesaver. So for medical students revising orthopedics, for people working in orthopedics, for anyone working in A&E or acute medicine, I think this is a must have app. Let's check it out and I'll show you how it works. As we open the app up, you see a skeleton. Effectively, what OrthoFlow does is it will show you exactly the management plan you should be putting in place for that fracture. And for someone like me who is new to orthopedics, it is incredibly helpful. Let's start by clicking on a bone. Let's say the patient has broken their femur. I click on the femur, it tells me what part of that bone has been broken. I'm gonna put femur, has it the proximal, mid shaft or distal? Let's pretend it's the neck, so it's the proximal femur. It's then telling me, is it an intracapsular or extracapsular fracture? Let's say it's intracapsular. Is Shenton's line displaced? Let's say yes and it tells me the nice guidelines for that injury. Let's say this patient's having a total hip replacement. It then tells me the exact things I need to do to make sure that patient is ready for theater. So for medical students, this is useful because you can work out which operation is needed for what type of injury. For doctors, this is useful because if you're ever gonna work in surgery, it tells you exactly what you need to do to prep this patient for theater. So for example, mark limb, consent patient, check their neurovascular intact, take bloods, check INR, ECG, VT assessment, and so on. It also very usefully tells you what you need to know for a trauma meeting. So trauma meeting is when the on-call team present all of the cases to the orthopedic consultants. They can absolutely be grilled. So if you have this app, it will show you what you need to know for that meeting. The next app we're talking about is not a strictly medical app, but it's very useful for medical students and doctors. It's the app called Calm. Calm is very similar to Headspace. 
It's a meditation and sleep app. It's useful for when you've had those crazy, crazy busy days in the hospital, you've been running all over the place and you need just two minutes to yourself to calm. It's got some awesome relaxation exercises. It's got some amazing sleep stories to help you go to sleep as well. So if you've had a busy shift and you can't stop thinking about the hospital, I tend to stick this app on and it helps me get to sleep. Let me show you the app. We click on calm. It tells me to have, take a deep breath and it's got this serene little background here. We've got the meditation exercises, which we can look at here. We've also got any sleep meditations that we want to do. The other thing that's cool about this is lots of celebrities have done sleep stories. For example, every so often I'll go to bed to the sounds of Matthew McConaughey telling me a bedtime story. Tell me that you wouldn't want that. All right, all right, all right. Very useful app for taking a break, taking a few minutes for yourself and getting to sleep. The next app we're looking at is the Geeky Medics app and I've put this on the list because it is good, but for me, it is very expensive for what you get. Most of the information you get from this app, you can find from the Geeky Medic websites. It is very good, like the Geeky Medic website, good at revising your clinical examinations. It's good for practicing your histories. So useful for medical students. If I was a medical student, I would probably pay for this app, at least for a year or two, but then after that, I'm not so sure. If you're familiar with Geeky Medics, you'll recognize they have a simple to read systematic approach to everything. So for example, cardiovascular examination, it will show you exactly what you need to do to examine the cardiovascular system and it gives you a little video demonstrating how to do so. The next and final app is called Touch Surgery. I've left this till last, but it's probably one of my favorites on the list. It might sound like it's just for surgeons, but I promise you it's not. So this is an award-winning app that tells you how to do loads of different procedures and it tells you how to do lots of different surgeries. You might be thinking, well, I'm a medical doctor or I'm a medical student. Why would I need to know how to do a surgery? It's important because you'll be able to see the surgery so that you can communicate that to a patient. So if a patient comes in and talks to you about this procedure that they've had or a cholecystectomy, it's useful if you have knowledge of that procedure to be able to talk to them about it. It's also really useful if you want to refresh your knowledge on any particular procedure. Let me show you what I mean. We open the Touch Surgery app, which opens straight away. We go to the library, and then we're going to search for something that we're going to perform. Let's say we're about to perform a lumbar puncture. We type in lumbar puncture, we find the procedure, and we start learning. We restart from the beginning, and this is going to show us exactly step by step how to perform a lumbar puncture, how to prep the patient, what to say to the patient, what you need to do it, and exactly how to perform it. So to recap information, or for medical students and doctors that are not familiar with these procedures, it's very helpful. It's got most procedures on there, including acidic drains, chest drains, lumbar punctures, that sort of thing. On the surgery side of things, let's say a patient was having a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, you can click on it, you can press start learning, you can restart the learning from the beginning, and you can see exactly the operation that the patient is having. So for anyone interested in surgery, for anyone wanting to know more about surgery, to increase their communication with their patients, this I think is a very valuable app. I think considering this app is completely free, is absolutely incredible. That is it guys, that is my list of essential apps for medical students and for doctors. Let me know in the comments if you think I've missed anything, if you have found value in this video, please share it with others and let me know which apps you're gonna be downloading. Take care everyone and stay safe.